it's Monday. Welcome to This Is A Man's World. Let's see what we've got in store this week. Uh, it's 28 degrees and it's only 8 o'clock. Okay, so things that are happening this week, we've got drainage going in, um, we've got the frame guys who are here to put in the frames for the doors and the windows on the retail unit, and this week's supposed to be the hottest week ever, it gives me like 32, 30 degrees, I'm already dying, I can't handle it in that 2x2 two two office, um, yeah, just, someone send rain, this is typically British, we just moan about the heat. too hot to do anything today I'm even struggling to come out and just film so I thought today maybe we talk a little bit about being a freelance engineer sorry with the hair what's happening with the hair not really sure okay so I am a freelance engineer what does this mean this means basically that I am not on a company's I'm on this specific company's payroll the reason why am I freelance you may be asking yourself or maybe not well, I'll answer the question anyway. Okay, I'm freelance because um, that's all I've ever known since the age of 21. I started freelance. It was just the way the industry worked at that time. Um, I was doing contract work for say four to six months. So no one really wants to take you on because they don't know if there's gonna be work in the future. But that was in my old role as a CQA engineer, which is very seasonal. I stayed freelance uh, mainly for two reasons. First one is flexibility. Uh, if you don't like a job you can just go move somewhere else um, and you're not tied to a contract um, and the second reason is the money so when you're freelance obviously the risk is that you can lose your job at a drop of a hat if someone doesn't want you they just get rid of you um, but the payoff if you take freelance work is the money so salary wise you can end up earning twice as much money as you would if you were on the books with a company. You also end up paying less tax um, because you can either go self-employed or you can go um, limited company. I've gone the limited company way. So you can basically take off all your expenses, uh, your car, and it just reduces your tax. So there's a lot of benefits for being a freelance engineer. In the current climate, there is a massive shortage of um, engineers in the UK so freelance is super because super um, the rates have gone up massively when I started they were 18 pound an hour and that was over two years ago now they're up to like uh, there's some engineers earning 50 pound an hour um, that's with their own kit etc um, but yeah so that really is about I suppose the money and the flexibility would I ever go on the books um, maybe if the industry changes, if work starts to slow down, I might consider it. Um, I'm not scared of not being in employment, and so I think that's been a huge advantage um, and has allowed me to be really flexible. Now, even though I'm freelance, actually, you know what? I'm going to talk about the next bit in the office because I am dying in here. Okay. Okay. Excuse the sweaty face. So. Let's get back to it. What I was saying is that even though I'm freelance, I've never been one to swap and change different jobs, leave companies, etc. unless the work's dried up. Um, but predominantly for the last two or three years, I've been on six to nine month, maybe even a year, year and a half kind of contracts where the companies have actually wanted to keep me on. The only reason why I've moved is because I got bored of what I was doing. So if it's road and sewers, I'll do that for so long and then move on to a different type of engineering. So it is actually pretty stable at the moment in the UK. So it's just huge advantages to go in freelance.
I know what you're thinking. Michelle, you haven't done any engineering in a long time. That's exactly what I was thinking. And then on the hottest day this year, somebody asked me to do some engineering. my truck and I left the air conditioning on and some dickhead has come in and pushed the heating up to 30 degrees so I got one of the other lads to tell the culprit of the prank that I fainted in the truck so uh, as soon as he comes over I'm gonna get down in the seat the ridiculous heat so I'm ending the vlog here. See you tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe. Like now. Like right now.